Hey, what's up guys? Eugene Pentland from Pentland Designs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build an airtight container to store your filament. For certain filaments, like nylon, leaving it out in the open would be bad for it because it absorbs moisture over time. Nylon can absorb up to 10% of its weight over 24 hours in moisture. So you want to keep this in an airtight container so it stays nice and dry and it doesn't ruin any prints. So what I'm going to show you how to do is take the regular cardboard box that your filament comes in and turn it into an airtight container just with a few prints and some tape. This is just an example so I can show you how it works. So all it has is a rod going through the center that the spool stays on, and then a little hole on the side with a cap so that you can seal it off in the end. And then in the final version, we're going to tape around over all the edges and tape it closed to try to keep it airtight. So this allows to keep your filament wall in the box and it still does not require a lot of force to be able to pull the filament out. To start you're going to take your box that the filament comes in uh, and in my case I'm going to open up the container of nylon and I'm going to make sure to save the Dexican bag so I can put that in container once it's finished. So you're going to open the box and then put the spool in the center and just get it as centered as possible. And once you do that and it looks all good, you're going to just draw a circle around the inner, inner diameter. Now that that's done, you're going to take the spool out and you have to figure out which side you want the filament coming out of. So you don't really want it coming out of these thick walls on the side because it's just harder to push through. You want it coming out through the side right here. So if I take my filament and see it's spooling, it's going out in this direction, I want it like this so it comes out there. And then we're going to make a line and figure out where the hole where it comes out should be. So just line it up on the center of the box, see approximately where the filament is, and then make a little marker on the side of the box. Once you do that, flip it on its side grab a ruler, and the hole doesn't have to be perfect, but we're going to just make a little X in the center, so this is 7 inches, so 3 and a half. And then we're just going to punch a small little hole right here. Don't make it too big. The box is going to sit like this, and the filament is going to come out in this direction. We need, need this spool to be right in the top so the spool isn't touching the bottom. So take the box, line it up so that it's a tangent to the top of where you want it to be, and then draw a circle around that. So it's going to look a little bit like that. Now the next thing you're going to do is Grab your X-Acto knife and you are going to cut out that hole. You want to make it a little bit smaller than the actual size just to make sure it has a nice tight fit. And then just pop that right out. And now we're just going to do a little test fit, pushing this through. Okay, so that lines up well. Now the next thing we're going to do is this little cylinder that I made, it has one edge that is slightly sharp. And that's so that we can flip this box over and close it, put this through, and then make sure you're up against a flat surface. It's going to stand up and push down on it so it makes a nice circle on the other side of the box. So now open it back up. Let's see if you could see that circle. Let's see. Okay, yeah, you could kind of see the little indent that's right there. So now what you're going to do is take the cylinder out and then cut out the other circle. And by doing it this way you're going to make sure that both holes are lined up and they're completely parallel to each other. As long as you press down while you're on a flat surface. I did a really bad job cutting this. Alright, we'll just pretend like it's good. So now you're going to put this one through. and then try lining this up. Alright, so that went through. 
made the hole a little bit too small and it ripped a little bit, but we could always just cover up that gap. The next thing we have to do is take the little feed tube and then put that inside the box. So let's open it up. Once I finished putting the tube in, all I did was feed the filament through, put the cap on so it stays airtight there, and then put tape around all of the outside edges and all of the inside edges to make it airtight. So this roll of Tolman 910 was provided to me by Printed Solid. I'm going to be doing a video series on building an electric longboard in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments on how to build this or if you think it will work or not, please let me know in the comments below and subscribe so you can see my future videos like my video series about building an electric longboard.